Hey y'all, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. So today, I wanted to do a nice, vibrant look. I don't know exactly what I want to go for, but I'm just going to play around with some colors and let's just see what we get. Get my primer by Too Faced Cosmetic, and I'm going to dab it on my lid. to take my morph palette and I think I want to go with some brown so I'm going to start out with this shade now I'm going to take this color and also place it in the crease knock off the excess and I'm just going to blend it out I think I want to do a pretty cut crease, so I'm going to take my paint pot from MAC and it is called Painterly and it looks like this. cut crease going now. Now I'm going to take my Coastal Scents palette and this is um, 88 Original palette and I'm going to take this green. with the colored rain. I'm now going to place the glitter glue in the center of my lid. And I'm gonna place it quickly because this tends to dry fast. Now I'm going to take my glitter and place it in the center. And just kind of spread it out. Now for foundation, first I'm just going to put on my primer. I'll be using Becca and it is called the Ever Matte Poreless Primer. And I'm just going to place that in the areas where I have a little shine and my forehead. chin area and right above my lip. I'm then going to take my Anastasia Contour Cream Kit and I'm going to take the red and to, um, I'm gonna use this to pretty much cover up my blemishes. I'm then going to take um, Black Opal which it looks like this. You can get this at Walmart. I usually get them from Walmart. I think Target has them as well. And I'm using the shade Nutmeg. And I'm simply gonna use this to just cover the areas where I place the reddish tone. Not too much, just a nice balance. Okay. Then I'm going to take my um, Studio Fix Fluid by MAC which it looks like this. I am in the shade NC50. I do my forehead last because I tend to lift all the time. So I don't want any creasing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer. I'm using NW40 Studio Finish Concealer, which looks like this. And I got it from MAC. 
And I'm just gonna place that underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to take my brush and just blend that product out. Make sure I cut that side so it can be straight. Same for this side. Then I'm going to take my NARS, which looks like this. And I'm in the shade Caramel. And I'm going to place that underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to take my Pro Long Wear Concealer, and this is the shade NW35. Now before I do that, I'm going to make sure I go ahead and have my Laura Mercier setting powder out and ready because it'll set quick and I don't want any creasing. I will be using my Beauty Blender, but it is dry just in case any of you are wondering. So I'm gonna get a little product on my finger and place it underneath the eye. Quickly. Just set that concealer in place before I move on. Now, onto my forehead and I'm placing foundation. I'm using Patty Motions. I'm just blending it in. All right. All right, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my T-zone. I'm using 3.5, I'm sorry, 3.75 concealer by Anastasia. Right above my lip, my chin, and extend it up to my forehead. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend that out. Then again, I'm going to take This is Black Walnut by Black Opal. And I'm gonna use that to contour. Now that I've done that, now I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and just go down the center, blend that in. Now, I'm going to contour the sides of my face as well as my forehead. Just a little here, 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 here. There, and there, and there. And that was using the Black Opal Walnut, Black Walnut. Now I'm going to set that contour. I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit Powder Kit. Now set the contour on my nose using the same exact dark shade that I just contoured my face with.
I'm gonna make sure I set the sides so you can really see that sharpness in that contour. So for liner, I will be using Black Track Gel Liner by MAC, which looks like this. Okay, just want to drag it upward and inward. And I always go in with a liquid liner and clean it up. Now for lashes, I'm going to take one of my personal favorites, this is number 43. I got these from Beauty Masters. They're only a dollar. So for any of you ladies that are looking for some good lashes that aren't gonna cost you about $5, go to Beauty Masters. And place it right above my lash line. And my lashes are on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and dust off the excess powder. I'm going to put on this lip. Oh, and I'm sorry. I'm using the shade Lychee, and this is by ColourPop. This is Anastasia Sun Dip Glow Kit. And I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. summer. Highlight down the center of my nose. And the tip. My nose, and I'm now going to use my Fix Plus by MAC, and I'm going to set everything in place. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I will be sure to list all products below. And until next time, keep smiling.